Hello and welcome back. I am Ambariam and we are going to open up a new pack of cards here. It's a very special pack. I don't have very many of these. Uh, this one is in German. Limitierte Edition or something like that. And uh, this is the Deutsch Ausgabe. So German, German uh, something. <laughs> German type. <laughs> Alright, so our first card here is a Naren, and he is a Kundschafter, if I'm saying that right, that means scout. And I'm sorry about the, um, sometimes my camera does not want to focus. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, I don't know why it won't focus, but he is an elf, and in, in German that's spelled E-L-B. Elb. Elb. Yep, Kundschafter, he's a scout elf. He's pretty strong, too, as far as characters in this game go. All right, the next card is going to be another character. We've got Ivik. He has, uh, he's also quite strong. He's actually stronger than an Arn. Five prowess, eight body. And he's an agent. And he's a Krieger. Let's find out what a Krieger is. I think that just means warrior. If I'm starting to remember from the previous video. Yeah, Krieger. It means warrior. So we're using Google Translate here just to understand. Um, and I might actually type in his text. It's not very long, so let's do that real quick. So let me try to read this text real quick here. It's hard typing in another language, another language because Okay, so how do we say this? <laughs> Die Südlinge waren ein vagmutiges, angrimiges Volk. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the uh, the German reading it off. But actually, Google Translate just did something very interesting. I typed in the German text. I asked it to pronounce the German text for me. And then I asked it to pronounce the German text a second time. And on the second time, it slowed down for me. I didn't ask it to slow down. It just it knew that I needed to slow down and hear the, the text all the way through without it being too fast. So Google Translate is apparently doing that automatically. The Sudling were a daring and fierce people. So that's what that text means. And um, I think Sudling is uh, Southerners, probably. I'm not sure. All right. Ooh, next card here is very cool. This looks like Gandalf. If you guys are familiar with Lord of the Rings, because this is a Lord of the Rings card game, this is Gandalf falling with the Balrog. Gosh, man, my camera really sucks. I need to get a better camera. Okay. Uh, Beast. Oh, wow, this is a hard one to say. Okay, let me type this in real quick. When uh, Gandalf and company were in Moria, running away from the orcs, and the Balrog shows up, Gandalf uh, fights the Balrog, right? Bis zu den Grönfesten der Erde. <laughs> Grönfesten der Erde. All right, so that means to the foundations of the earth. So when Gandalf fought the Balrog, he fell through Moria down a deep pit to the foundations of the earth, apparently. So that's what's happening in that, uh, in that card. Very cool, very cool. It's a permanent event. I'm not really sure. In der organ, uh, okay, in the organization phase. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to translate that entire card sometime because I'm not entirely sure what that card does. Oh, Lantern of the Noldo. This is a cool card. So we have, it's actually very pretty too. The artwork is really nice. This is an item that you would get. It's a special item. And uh, let me 
Lantern Dernold. That's very similar to the English. The title is very similar to the, the English. Okay. Lantern de, de Laterna de Noldo. Okay, very cool. And then uh, let's read special item here. Because I want to know how to say special item in German. Once a year, there is actually a, an event in Germany where people who play this card game gather together and uh, compete. Um, so I would like to go do that sometime. And it would be fun to know how to say some of these things in German. Spitz, spezieller Gegenstand. Gegenstand. Okay, that's special item in German. That's the Lantern of the Noldo. Oh, this looks pretty cool in German. Die Eisen Tiefen. I'm sure that's not how I'm supposed to say it. But let's type it in really quick here. Die Eisen Tiefen. Ah, okay. The Eisen Tiefen. Okay, that's not too bad. I, I got pretty close. Uh, that means the iron depths. The Eisen Tiefen. So Eisen must mean iron, maybe? Eisen? I think so. All right, let's look at the next card here. What else do we got? Der Schaften Wacht. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how you say it again. <laughs> Der Schatten washed. Okay, let's see what that means. Oh, vexed. I'm sorry. I always mess up the W and the V with the V sound. Der Schatten vexed. So an A with two dots over it is going to be an A sound. Vexed. Vexed. It's going to be an A sound. That's really cool. Der Schatten wächst, and that means the shadow grows. Um, in in English, uh, like the actual translation is going to be reaching shadow, which is the idea that Sauron and his evil army has a great influence over the country. They they have a reaching shadow, so <laughs> uh, country, continent, or whatever. His shadow, his strength is reaching out over Middle Earth and uh, taking control of it. All right, let's read off the next one here. We got, it looks like uh, Frodo or Bilbo in a bed, but my camera will not freaking focus on it. All right, next time I make this video, we're gonna do this better because this is just not working super well. All right, let me read off this one. What's it called? Tief Wooden. Maybe Deep Wound or something? Tief Wounden. Ah, yes, okay. Tiefe Wunden. Wunden. Tiefe Wunden. Tiefe Wunden. Deep wounds, apparently. All right, we're learning some German. I like it. All right, next one. Die Ernstesgründung ist frei. Oh, wow, that's great. Okay, let me write that in. <laughs> Die Ernst. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is the card, and I actually know this card in English. Uh, pretty cool artwork, actually. This looks like Frodo uh, on the Wind Throne when he is running away from Boromir with the ring. The Entscheidung ist frei. And that means in English, the decision is free, or the actual card name is free to choose. All right, next card we've got. Hmm, Gegenjedge Vernuft. I am not sure about this one. Gegen. I don't use that card super often, so let's let's take a look at it here. Wow, that's so cool. Gegen jede Vernunft. So those E's are E sounds. Let me try again. Gegen jede, gegen jede Vernunft. Against all reason. That's cool. 
for the cards that I, I understand already what they do, I will try to explain um, what they do in the game, and eventually I'll probably create a guide to how to play this game. A video guide how to play this game. But for now, we're just going through the cards, enjoying the artwork, uh, enjoying me failing to pronounce German, um, the awesome German language. Uh, so let's... I love languages. Let's check the next next one here. Looks like uh, Gandalf again. He is a popular person on these cards. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. Maybe I just need better lighting. That's probably all it is. Uh, walk summer als die meisten. That's definitely not how you say that. Let me look this up real quick. Walk summer als die meisten. Wach summer als die meisten. Wach. Wach summer als die meisten. More vigilant than most. Okay, so that's Gandalf being very vigilant. And it looks like he is fighting some orcs. All right, we have another character here whose name is Lehmann, who's also quite strong. His prowess is five, his body is eight. Lehmann is a Krieger as well. He's a warrior, a warrior man, it looks like. That's very cool. And let's uh, check out the next one. Oh, yes, we have Frodo or Sam, one of the two, fighting Smeagol. Gollum. Sneaking. Yeah, we're fighting, we're fighting Gollum. All right. We all know who Gollum is. If you've seen Lord of the Rings, you know who Gollum is. Smeagol. Nasty little hobbitses. All right. Plötzliche Wut. Sudden anger. Plötzliche Wut. This happens to me a lot, especially when I'm playing computer games. Plötzliche Wut. Sudden anger. Plötzliche Wut. All right. That's sudden anger. All right. Let's take a look at this one. All right, I do know this one. This is called The Moon is Dead in English, but in in German, Mond des Todes? Okay, that looks like Spanish to me, but it's not it's not Spanish. This is definitely a German card. I like I like having this card in German though. It's one of my more one of my favorite cards. Mond des Todes. That sounds just like Spanish. But it's definitely not. And what this does in the game, if you're playing... Uh, it, in the game, you have the option to play cards that help you gain points. And then you also have the option to play hazards, or, or, or basically bad guys. You get to attack your opponent with bad creatures. And uh, one of those types of creatures is the undead, like ghosts and ghouls and barrel whites. Uh, and this card makes your, your undead cards stronger. All right, that's the first time I've had a German card that sounded Spanish. All right, this card has quite a long title. This looks like Barlam and Butterbur. Uh, when the hobbits arrived in Bree, when Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin arrived in Bree, there was a letter waiting for them from Gandalf. And uh, let's find out what this what this says. This is a super long title. Winder, oh, I can't even I can't even try, guys. I can't even try. Winder, no, Winder, I'm learning, I'm learning. Gekaruti Erinirungan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Vita Gekert Erinirungan. Erinirungan. That's a, that's just a cool. It means reoccurring memories. Re apparently. Oh, that's really funny. All right, I do know this card. The card here. It's called uh, Reichsidig Warnung. Hmm. All right. Let's try that one out. Timely warning. Okay, so the, so the actual card in English 
is forewarned is forearmed. Oh, we're out of time, guys. I have to go for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.